Hey guys, welcome back to Go Together Go Far. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install and then hook up to a brand new Blue Ox Track Pro weight distribution hitch. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get through some of the quick stuff. This is the Blue Ox Track Pro. Blue Ox sent this to me for free uh, because they like the, the videos and stuff that I've done on the Sway Pro for the one that I, that I actually bought. I bought the Sway Pro, they sent me this one for free. If you wanna see the Sway Pro videos, uh, I'll, I'll put links and stuff up above and, and some down in the description. Uh, what I get to do with this is I get to show you kind of step by step how to install it on your rig. And that's what I'm going to do here today. I also am in the process of filming a video that shows the difference between the a conventional hitch, uh, the Sway Pro hitch, which I already have, and this Track Pro hitch. And I'm actually putting my whole rig on a CAT scale and measuring the impact on exactly how the weight actually distributes. When that video is complete, I'll link to it down in the description and, and that kind of stuff, and you'll see all that. If you want even more information, if you're in a buying mode of trying to figure out what hitch is right for you, uh, check out GoTogetherGoFar.com. That's our blog and website, and I've got a bunch of information on there about weight distribution hitches, plus a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't quite work in the YouTube video. So check that out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification, and let's go ahead and get this thing started. So we're going to go ahead and start going step by step through the instructions, and I'll, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so the first couple steps is are really pretty easy. First, you wanna park your truck and your trailer on uh, level ground. Once you've done that, go ahead and insert the Track Pro shank, hitch shank, into your, uh, the receiver, put the pin in. Now, if you notice, I am putting mine in, let me get that whole thing in there, there you go. I'm putting mine in the upward position. I'm doing this because uh, I had the Sway Pro and that worked a little better for me. It allowed me when I attached the, the ball assembly to put it a little higher. It gives me a little more clearance down here as well. This thing works in either direction. So depending on your specific setup, if you're towing something that sits a little lower to the ground, you may want this higher. If you, depending on where you need your ball for your particular uh, scenario, flip this around. Uh, let's go to the trailer side of this. Okay, so the next step of this is you're going to want to make sure your trailer is level because once you've done that, we're going to be taking a measurement from the, the top of the, the, the hitch here, or the, uh, the, the ball coupler, all the way to the ground. So go ahead and level out your trailer. Okay, so now that you have your trailer level, what you need to do is measure the dis distance between the top of the, uh, your uh, receiver here and the ground. And for me... That is about 25 inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this assembly over to the back of the truck and hook this up and we wanna make sure that the ball is level with 25 inches or slightly higher. Um, and let's go show you that. So once you know about how high you have to put this, grab your ball assembly, which is particularly heavy, and uh, pick a spot, really see if it's the right one. Just get one bolt in there. Um, this thing is heavy. And then get your other bolt in. Don't tighten anything down yet, but at least get it settled on there so you can take a good clean measurement. And I'm looking for something that is 25 to 26 inches, and this is just shy of 26 inches. And I'll try to give you a view of that uh, from, from the top of this to the ground. So that's where I'm pretty comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that where I have it, or you can adjust it up or down as you need to. Once you've got this, now I need to kind of replace these bolts with, with you make sure I get my, my locking washers and stuff on there. Uh, and then we're gonna to torque this thing down. So here's the one disadvantage of installing this thing yourself. Uh, and this is not unique to Blue Ox. A lot of the other hitches that I talk about on my website and a couple of articles and stuff all have the same issue. Uh, and sometimes it's even worse. The, to do it properly, per the instructions, uh, these bolts in particular uh, need to be torqued down on this particular version down to 256, 200, I'm sorry, 257 pounds of torque. This is a torque wrench that can do that. Um, this is not typically in most average household. 
if you work on cars or stuff like that, you, you know, maybe you have one. Uh, some of the hitches that are out there are required to go up to like 400 pounds. So, it, and these can be expensive. So I've got a link to this one that I specifically bought down below, an Amazon affiliate link, um, that I think this was 60 or 80 bucks, um, just because I'm doing videos and stuff like that. If you can borrow one from somebody or rent one, you're probably better off um, doing that. But to do it right, you gotta torque this thing way down and uh, make sure it sticks. So once you have the ball assembly hooked up to the back of your truck, you're going to actually want to go ahead and hook up to your trailer, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, the next step, what they ask you to do is to measure back between 20 and 25 inches from the center of, of, of this assembly and mark that spot. So I'm going to mark both 20 25 inches there and 25. And basically between these two spots is where this piece is gonna go. So this is part of the, the brackets that the uh, spring bars are gonna attach to. And honestly, the directions are a little confusing because it keeps telling you where the offset goes towards the front. I don't know which one's the offset, uh, but looking at the picture, the higher part goes towards the, towards the trailer. The other piece on the directions that are a little confusing and I'm unclear on is the bag of hardware that it comes with tells you to put red Loctite on everything. Right, so red Loctite on everything. Um, but the instructions on certain parts tell you do not use red Loctite. So I think Blue Ox probably has uh, some a little work to do there to make it a little more clear. But now that I've, I've marked those two spots, you're basically gonna wanna end up is bracketing this inside that area, right? You gotta kinda adjust for uh, if you've got, oops, if you've got an, uh, obstructions in the way and you might have to move some stuff around. I actually had to move this slightly um, to make sure that I've got room to get this attached. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this attached. So we're going to go ahead and start attaching our brackets. And if you notice, these are mirrors of each other. Uh, you want to be aware of this section here that is, uh, you know, kind of cut out. That actually, that piece here will actually go against the side of your trailer. So what you're actually gonna to wanna to do here is take some of these shorter bolts and they go through there. And that will actually hold them when you're trying to tighten everything down. And then this is gonna go against your trailer. Go ahead and start getting one bolt in the top. And then this piece here is what goes around the backside of it. And you may have to be a little careful with if you've got your air brake or your emergency brake and stuff, make sure you're not catching it on any of that wires in the back. Getting this through. So I don't have any of the nuts on or anything like that, but this is basically where the, the, the way the assembly is going to work. And I'm going to kind of get some of this finger tightened down, uh, and I'll do the other side as well. And then we'll start to make sure we've got it in the right position. Okay, to finalize where you need this, what they, what they ask you to do is to take the spring bar uh, and locate the, the notches on here that indicate uh, what size you have. Those are gonna go up and insert that into the, the, the pieces that move, and then take one of these locking clips here and lock that thing in place. This is pretty easy. And lock that in place. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure that when you put this piece on that the end of the spring bar is supposed to be at least four inches past that um, past the center of that mine clearly is very very far past uh, probably a little too far uh, but that is because I have some other components and stuff over here that, I, that are in my way so I'm gonna try to leave it here uh, so I'm in 
20 shape, it means if I'm turning, this thing's not going to come disconnected on me. And I'm okay to make sure I've got this locked down to the right distance and lock down both sides. And one thing worth mentioning, Blue Ox instructions say when you put this on, use the center two holes, but the one I have has five and it's not real clear. There may be some difference in variation between, uh, or this is a slightly new model uh, compared to before, but I'm gonna use roughly the center two holes and uh, we'll see how that goes. Sorry, so I've tightened down my, my brackets and everything here uh, on both sides uh, and, and got them nice and tight and, and level and even and they're equal distance from the, the hitch. So that all works well. As far as actual installation of this hitch, that's it, boom, it's installed. Uh, you know, a little bit on the assembly, a little bit here on your, your tongue, and, and you're basically done. The remaining piece of this is the, how to actually go ahead and hook it up. And I'm gonna actually show you that right now. So when you're ready to actually hook up with the Track Pro, it works pretty much uh, the same way the Sway Pro does. So once you've got your, um, everything attached to actually your truck to your trailer, you're gonna wanna raise this hitch way up because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spring bars with these little notches on top and you're gonna put those on top. And in this case, the Track Pro actually uses these, these pins uh, where the, the Sway Pro has little pins that kind of built into it. Go ahead and insert that to lock that into place. Just always easier said than done. There we go. And ultimately what you're going to end up doing is taking this weird looking wrench that they gave you and you're going to put it underneath the spring bar, hook it into that thing and you're going to pull up on this and the spring bar is going to snap into place. You don't want to do this without jacking your trailer up a little bit because you don't, you're not strong enough. There's a lot of tension on these bars and, and it'll be a much easier thing to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, get this hooked up. I'll show you how to jack the trailer up. Use the spring bar to have it snap into place. Once it's snapped into place, you have these little locking um, pins, I guess, what are they called? They kind of slide down in here and hold that spring bar in place for you. So let's go ahead and jack this thing up. Okay, so I've got the trailer jacked up. It's almost now level with the, the piece it's going into here. Give this thing a pull. Oh, that is harder than I thought. So I've jacked this way up. The spring bar is basically already at this thing. Now I just kind of got to get it over the, the little hook here. Um, I'll try to give you the best shot of that as I can. And give it a tug. All right guys, so I've jacked this way up and I realized that when I tried to get this on there, I think because my brackets are pretty far forward because of my, my propane tanks, I was unable to get this bar up and over. So I went back and, and took a quick look at it and realized, oh, guess what? They gave you some adjustment you know, holes here. So what I did is I went back and I lowered this bracket by one hole and now I've got my trailer all jacked up and this thing slides on. I don't have to force it at all. Uh, I was unable to get it there with, with the wrench, but now I don't even need the wrench. And so all I have to do now is basically take this little L bracket, slide that in there to lock that down, and then put one of these pins in there. And now that thing's not gonna go anywhere. So I'll go ahead and do, I'll make the adjustment on the other side as well and get that pin locked in. So there you have it guys. That's how you hook up and install a Blue Ox Track Pro. It's actually pretty easy. You know, it took me a little longer, I think because of the, um, the filming and stuff. So uh, go ahead and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out gotogethergofar.com, our website and blog, where I have a bunch more information and stuff on here. And uh, while you're at it, go ahead and check out some of these other videos. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody. See ya.